All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's your man, Jay True North. So a quick recap of what we just talked about. Uh, this season, Isengard, we were down to these two territories. We lost our capital to Linden. Uh, they were then pushing in this way towards Gondor as they owned all this. All this up here, including Moria, was Linden. Uh, they allied with the dwarves. They still had their territory. All this was light blue. They were coming this way down here. They didn't come in here, but down this way. They were in here taking, uh, what is it, Othank? Yeah, there we go. Th they didn't take it, but they were close. They were primed to. And then things changed. And now Bob's your uncle with, this is the map. Gondor came up here. Gondor did take their capital. They sort of gave it back to them. Uh, they said they would do the same for the dwarves, but the dwarves basically this whole season just like ran from the fights. If Gondor was there, they just ran. They didn't care. They were over here at one point. That's why we have these two territories. They were over here. They were planning to push south against us. Um, I don't know. The dwarves literally every time uh, they would come across Gondor, they would just run the other way. Until the last like 14 days of the server, they finally tried to fight for their capital, but didn't very. They put up somewhat of a fight, but nothing substantial. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we did at one point, Mordor lost their capital to the evil men. We acted as NATO came in and re helped them retake their capital. Uh, the elves still have theirs. These two, there were barely anyone in them. There was like one good player here and somewhat two dolphins, I would say, in here. And they somehow just got to keep their capital even though they were completely inactive. But yeah, that's the game. I've been playing for over a year. I got to participate in the second beta and the third beta. I wasn't part of the first beta. Uh, we got, the, as you can see, the avatar. This was the special avatar that people got for participating in the beta. So anyone that has that, they were a beta player. They played in the beta, helped do the testing. It was only North America and some parts of Europe, I believe, that were part of the early beta. And then it opened up to the rest of the world. So like at the end of the season, this was 52 days worth. Level 50, 45, 44... Siege of 33, Siege of 33, another Siege in the 30s. Mouth of Sauron I didn't work with this year. I should have. There were a lot of Gandalfs this year. He could have done decent. Not bad. I've enjoyed the game for what it is. It's uh, been a long time. I'm going to be stepping away from the game as it has been taking up too too much of my time and... I need to get back to focusing on not only myself, but my health as well, and basically life outside the game. As in order to be semi-decent at this game, especially when you're a free-to-play player, or if you're someone that barely spends anything, it is hard. As you can see, this is my gear. This is what I got for gear. So like, I am by no means a whale. I'm not a dolphin. You'd say I could be a baby dolphin, maybe. But that's just from playing nine seasons now. This is an accumulation of nine seasons worth of playing the game, daily grinds, doing your tavern tips in here, basically not getting nothing but green gear. A lot of time I might get purple. And then in here... You get uh, your, your free one. You get to spend some gems to get a second one. As you can see, that's the wish list. Most of the time, I just get green somehow. Like, even useless. Like, at least give me blues. And, like, I only really get the one for five. It's not too often that I get a bonus draw.
I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've enjoyed the game for what it's worth, but I will be stepping away.